Hey guys, I'm coming your way with another tutorial and this one is going to be talking about animation walk cycles for both the front and the side. Walk cycles are some of the animations that every animator must know. A walk cycle is a looping animation of a walking character. A single walk cycle can be broken down into four poses. They are the contact, down, passing and up poses. Repeating these poses for both sides creates a complete walk cycle. Now let's put this into practice. So for the practical, we are going to be working on a phone and using the flip by clip app. But the same process can be applied or followed no matter your device or application. So it's time for the walk cycle practicals. For this you can decide to use an old project or create a new project. I'm going to be naming this project walk cycle. Now we choose our frames per second. I'm going to be going with 24 frames per second since it will make up my animation very smooth. So we create our project. So before we start to draw our character, we must draw an imaginary line to represent the ground that the character will be walking on. Now that the line has been drawn, we will copy it and paste it onto several more frames. Now we create a new layer. This is where we are going to be drawing the character since we don't want any interference with the already drawn line and our character. So I'm going to go with a simple character with its body a circle and it legs noodle like. Now that we are done drawing our first key pose, we move to the second frame, then draw our second key pose. Now we um, want to make sure that we can identify which of the legs is facing us. So its joint to the body will be more visible to our side of it. Now we are done drawing all the key poses for both sides. It's time for us to move to the in-betweens. Now that we are down with all our in-betweens for the various frames, for both sides, that's the left side and the right side, we are going to be doubling each of the images on the frames. Since I'm animating one drawing for two frames, I'm going to copy each frame twice. Since I'm down with the need for my line, I'm going to delete that frame on which it lies. You can still keep it if you like to. Now that's all done. Let's play our finished video to see how it looks. Be sure to delete all extra frames. So that's it. That's how you can create a walk cycle. So in an animation, the character might be made to move across the screen, or the character can stay still whilst the background is moving behind it. When the character is moving across the screen, be sure to map out all its steps and add the contact 
down and passing poses. Okay, now it's time to talk about when animating from the front. So when animating from the front, it's advisable to start with the up and down poses, followed by the contact passing poses. Or you could still go with the old contact down, passing and up poses. Now let's talk about personality. So personality can also be added to a work cycle by adjusting the position of a character, timing and offset. So that's all for this video. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out the other tutorials and certain animations on this channel.